Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you the Go One Mini Computer, Mini PC. It is a hybrid tablet and desktop computer. As you can see, it has the screen, so you can use it as a tablet, but you can also use it as a desktop or media center PC. Given that it has a lot of ports, you can see the ports over here. It has an audio port, it works with headsets too. It has HDMI port, it has three USB 2.0 ports, you can see them over here, two of them, and here is the third one. It has one USB 3.0 port, it has an Ethernet port, and it has expansion by using a micro SD card here. As for power, it has a three hour approximately um, battery inside, and you can use the included, um, the included adapter power adapter or you can also use a micro usb cable and a phone charger to charge it and use it as well it will power with both with any with any of both of the both um power adapters so oh and the wi-fi antenna i already have it powered on so you can take a look let's see all right yeah there we go as you can see it is pretty responsive, I'm going to show you. It features an... Let me go over here, there we go. It has Windows 10, has an Intel Atom X5C8300 CPU at 1.44 GHz, but it goes up to 1.60 GHz. 1.60 GHz. So that's the turbo boost of the processor. Um, this particular model came with 4 GB of RAM, and 64-bit operating system and of course it is touch you can see it is touch um, yeah you can see it's pretty responsive screen doesn't lag the screen is um, 720p so there is high definition here you can see the dust monitor the CPU 144 gigahertz quad core Right now it's running at that low speed because I'm not running anything at all. 4 GB of RAM and it comes with 32 GB of memory out of which 21 GB is available for Windows as this is a dual boot system. It features Windows 10 and also features Android. So and since it uses an Intel Atom CPU, that means it is using Intel graphics as the graphic card. But um, I'm pretty amazed at this little device since it is running pretty stable. Um, way better than other Intel Atom X5 processors that... Um, Intel Atom X5 computers that has the, the this processor, particularly. Um, so this one is performing really well. Let's take a look at this game. There we go. You can see that the it detects the the touch is pretty good. This is one of the hardest um, modes of the game. If I play normal, You can see it is detecting my touch pretty good. No lag at all. This game is called also if you want to download it in your tablet and if you can also use it on a desktop computer with a mouse. Of course it will be more difficult to play with the mouse, but it works.
pretty much responsive. So you can get it on Indiegogo. Let's open here the web browser so you can take a look at it. Let's open the keyboard. Okay. Go one. Indiegogo. No, that's not it. Wait a second. Go one is this link over here. It is now loading. It is an in demand product, so you can get yours. All, all of these are out of stock now. Um, you cannot pledge this one, um, but these two are available right now, so you can pledge on this. It also fits on the pocket since it is pretty small. And comparing it with my hand, you can see it's pretty small yet powerful at the same time. You can see that browsing doesn't lag at all, it runs pretty stable, no crashes so far using the latest Windows 10 update. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. The Gold One Computer, G O L E One. So if you like this, get one of these. It is pretty small. You can use it as a tablet or as a desktop replacement. And the battery lasts usually between two to three hours. That depends on your usage. So that's all for this overview video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, share it with your friends, comment on it, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.